So now let us try to analyze some implicit function graphs. Let us take the function x square y square is equal to a square times y square minus x square. So if you are asked to draw the graph of this. So first what we do is we find, we try to find some sort of special points. First let us try to see where this curve meets the axis. So if you put x is equal to 0. So you get 0 y square is equal to a square times y square minus 0. So a square y square is equal to 0. This implies y is equal to 0. That means when x is equal to 0, y is also equal to 0. It means if you draw the graph, it passes through origin. Next, let us try to analyze some sort of domain. So where does the values of x and y lie? So in this form, it is tricky to analyze this. So we'll try to change the form of this. So y square minus x square by x square y square is equal to 1 by a square y square minus x square by x square y square is equal to 1 by a square. This implies if you separate these two, 1 by x square minus 1 by y square is equal to 1 by a square. 1 by x square minus 1 by y square is equal to 1 by a square. So this term is positive, this term is positive, the difference has to be 1 by a square. This implies obviously 1 by x square has to be greater than or equal to 1 by a square. 1 by x square has to be greater than or equal to 1 by a square. Because if this is less than 1 by a square, on subtracting something else, it cannot get 1 by a square. So x square is less than or equal to a square, x belongs to minus a comma plus a. So x has to always lie between minus a and plus a. x has to always lie between minus a and plus a. And it's passing through origin. Now what happens if x is equal to a? 1 by a square minus 1 by y square is equal to 1 by a square. So 1 by y square is equal to 0. This implies y goes to plus or minus infinity. So as x goes to plus a or minus a, if x square is equal to a square, y is going to plus or minus infinity. So as x goes to plus a, y goes to plus infinity. As x goes to minus a also, y goes to plus infinity. And as you can see, this graph is symmetric about x axis. So if you put minus x in the place of x, if you put minus x in the place of x, graph is symmetric about x-axis. If you put minus y in the place of y, the graph is symmetric about y-axis also. So if this point is there, the graph is symmetric about x-axis. So here also the one more point has to be there. Here also one more point has to be there. So how do we join all this? So we can join this using some sort of a smooth graph. So the graph has to be like this, right? has to be symmetric about x-axis, symmetric about y-axis, passing through 0, comma 0, and x equal to plus or minus a, y has to go to infinitus. So this is how the graph of x square y square is equal to a square into y square minus x square looking. Next let us try to draw this graph. x y square is equal to 4 a square times 2 a minus x. So again, this looks like an implicit function. You have x here as well as here. So first what I try to do is, I try to bring all the x terms onto one side. So x y square plus 4 a square x is equal to 8 a cube. So x times y square plus 4 a square is equal to 8 a cube. Now, if you observe this, what are some of the conclusions that you can make? 
one of the conclusion is the graph is symmetric about x axis right because if you put minus y in the place of y the curve does not change so symmetric about x axis next second so what happens if x is equal to 0 if x is equal to 0 0 times y square plus 4a square becomes 8a cube so 0 is equal to 8a cube is not positive that means the graph does not meet y axis does not meet y axis and if you put y is equal to 0 you put y is equal to 0 x times 4a square is equal to 8a cube so this becomes 2a so this implies x is equal to 2a x is equal to 2a right that means the graph means x axis at the point x is equal to 2a so if you draw the graphs of this if you incorporate all these values for instance so add x is equal to 2a assuming a is positive I'm assuming a is a positive number so 2a is positive and the graph is symmetric about x-axis and the graph does not meet y-axis next so as you can see if a is positive 8a cube is positive this is also always positive because y square is positive 4a square is positive so x has to be always greater than 0 so you cannot go to this part of the x-axis so if x is negative this part will become negative this will not be equal so the graph do not happen on the negative side of x-axis next this part y square plus 4a square is always greater than or equal to 4a square is always greater than or equal to 4a square so x has to be always less than or equal to 2a right because the product has to be constant if this increases this has to decrease if this increases this has to decrease if this decreases this has to increase such that the product is same so this is always greater than or equal to 4a square so if you divide this x has to be always less than 2a so if x is greater than 2a this has to be less than 4a square such that the product is same which is not the case hence after 2a also you don't have any graph and as x decreases y increases right because the product is same as x decreases y increases so the graph is in between 0 and 2a it has to go to infinity and x is equal to 0 so the graph can be thought of something like this it has to asymptotically go to y-axis here because it is symmetric it has to asymptotically go to y-axis on this side also so this is how the graph might look like it is asymptotically meeting y-axis because there is no meeting point with y-axis and the domain is in between 0 and 2a as the graph is only in between 0 and 2a symmetric about y-axis as x decreases y increases so it has to go like this the exact shape is not very clear if it can be like this also like this also so that doesn't really matter so if you draw the approximate graph that will be sufficient